What's up people, DevSage here, and in this video, we're gonna be going over classes in TypeScript. In the last video, we went over interfaces. In this video, we'll be going over classes. Classes are a huge part of object-oriented programming. So if you've worked with Java, C Sharp, PHP, Python, any object-oriented programming language, you probably already know about classes. So what is a class? A class is a blueprint for an object. A class defines what properties and methods an object should have. And that's pretty much it. A class defines the structure of how an object, also known as a instance of a class, um, it, it defines how that object should look. Classes are the core of object-oriented programming uh, because you can use a class to represent basically any real-world thing that you want. You do this by grouping together related properties and methods that represent that thing. So let's say I'm building a social network and my social network has users let's build a class to represent how a user should look so in order to define a class we use the class keyword and then we pass in the name of whatever we want to name this class in this case we have class user we can give this user properties also known as fields so that this user can hold information about itself we can also give this user methods so it can actually do something with that information. So first, let's give it some properties. So a user is going to have a name. It's going to be a type string. Users are also going to have emails of type string. And let's say uh, they have an age of type number. So now we've given our users some properties. Now we're going to work on adding some methods. First, we're going to add a very special method known as the constructor method. The constructor is very important because it's the method that runs whenever you create a new instance of this class. So when we want to create a new user, this constructor method gets called. And we want to be able to pass in information about the user we want to create such as the name, the email, and the age, right? So we pass that information into the constructor. So let's give the constructor some parameters, name, of type string, email, of type string, and age, of type number, okay? So inside of the constructor method, we want to take the values that we passed in and assign those values to the properties of our object here. We can do that by saying this dot name, which represents the actual property attached to the class here, or rather the object that we're creating. And we're gonna say equals name, which is a reference to the name we passed in when we create this new object. I hope that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense now, it'll make sense later. So we, we also want to do this with email. So this.email, which sets this property to equal email, which is the property we'll, we're passing in when we create a new instance of this object. We're also going to say this.age. And OK. So now we have a functional class. So let's, uh, let's go down here and let's create a new instance of this class. Let's create a new object. So we can say const, uh, let's call this devsage equals new user. And then, so this is how we create a new instance of a class, 
remember what I said, we can pass in the information that we want to represent our class, such as the name, the email, and the age, and that's going to call the constructor method here. So the reason I'm getting an error here is because you see it expects three arguments but got zero. So you can think of this as the call to the constructor here. It's it's yelling at us because we didn't pass in a name, an email, or an age. So let's do that. So let's pass in a name. Let's just say DevSage. It's also needing an email. So let's just say, I don't know, dev at gmail.com. And it's expecting an age of, of a number. So let's say 23. And now the error is gone. So now we've successfully created a new instance of our class, a new object. So, okay. What can we do with this? So we can access the object's properties, such as the name, the email, and the age, by just calling the name of the object we just created. In this case, it's devsage dot the name of the property we want to access. So if I wanted to print out my name, or I mean my age, I just console log devsage dot age, and look here in the console, 23. Cool. Also, if I wanted to just console log my name, I can do that too, Dev Sage. All right, cool. Now we can make it so that these properties can't be accessed publicly from outside of the class like this by adding something called an access modifier to our properties. An access modifier is a specific keyword that can control the access levels for our properties and our methods. Um, a few access modifiers are the public access modifier, the private access modifier, and the protected access modifier. So by default, without defining any access modifier, um, the, the default access level is public meaning that these properties can be accessed and manipulated from outside of the class like this um, in object oriented programming this is generally considered bad practice we don't want to be able to control and manipulate class properties directly it's much more preferred to make these fields private meaning that we prevent outside access to these properties and if we need to be able to access these properties from outside, we would create a method on the class that would get and set properties for us. We, we commonly call these getters and setters in the object oriented world. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a look at methods a little bit later, but you see how we're getting errors here now? Property age is protected property name is private and only accessible within class user. So TypeScript is yelling at us right now because we're trying to access the age and name properties on our class when we've defined them to be private or private and um, protected. So the protected access modifier also prevents outside access to these properties, but does allow access from any subclasses of this class. A subclass is a class that inherits from another class. And this falls into class inheritance, which we will go over shortly. But before we get to inheritance, let's take a look at methods a little bit more. Uh, like I said earlier, classes can have properties that hold information and methods that can actually do something with that information. So let's create, let me make this private really quick. So let's create a, uh, oh, let me delete this too. Okay. So let's create a method on our user that's going to introduce this user. Basically it's going to print out this user's name with a small little greeting. 
Um, so we do that by adding the name of the method like so. So say name. We've just created a say name method on our class. So here we're going to print out um, hi, my name is this dot name. And down here we can call devsage dot say name. We were to save this in our console. We have hi, my name is devsage. Cool. And like I said, you can add access modifiers on methods as well. So if I wanted to make this a private method, meaning I can only access this method from inside of the class, if I were to save this, TypeScript is going to give me an error saying property say name is private and only accessible within class user. Okay, so let's remove this. And you can add more methods uh, if you want to. What I was saying earlier about the getting and setting, um, since we have these private fields, we can't access them from outside of the class. But if we want to expose them to outside of the class, we can add getters. So if I wanted to make a get name uh, method that returned the name, which is going to be of type string, we can return this dot name and we can have setters. So if I wanted to set the name, I want I would say set name, take in the name we want to set and say this dot name equals name. And this is generally the pattern you want to follow when exposing properties from your class. OK, so let's get to inheritance. Inheritance in object oriented programming allows one class to inherit all of the properties and methods of another class. The class that inherits is called the subclass. The class being inherited from is known as the superclass. You can think of subclasses as being uh, more specific versions of a superclass. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So my social network has users, right? So let's say my social network has some premium features that are only available for users that pay a certain amount of money per month. So that means we can have paid users. So what we can do is create a paid user subclass that inherits from the regular user here. The paid user is going to have all of the properties and methods that the regular user has and will be able to add some extra features to our paid user. So let's create a class that represents our paid user. So let's say class um, paid user extends user. So here we've just created a paid user class. And in order to inherit from another class, we use the extends keyword. So what that does effectively is it says, okay, this class paid user is going to inherit all of the properties and methods from our regular user. So that means we don't have to redefine all of these methods and properties. We're inheriting from this user and we can add our own new properties and methods that will specifically be for our paid user. So let's just say, I don't know, paid users get a certain amount of tokens that they can use to spend on different items in my social network. I don't know, like microtransactions for games or something. So I can add a property tokens and which is going to be a number which represents the number of tokens that they have. Let's create the constructor method for our paid user. And considering paid users are users, we need to pass in everything that the user is expecting like the name, the email, and the age. 
we also need to pass in the number of tokens. So what we can do here is say name, string, email, string, age, number, and then tokens, number. So this is the constructor for our paid user. So TypeScript is yelling at us right now because it's saying constructors for derived classes must contain a super call. What is what does this mean? What is a super call? Well, when we want to create a new instance of a subclass, we need to call the constructor for our super class. We do this by calling the super method, which is a special method. And all it does, it it calls the constructor of the super class. So we need to pass in a name, an email, and an age to our super method call here. So we need to say name, email, and age. And we also need to set the tokens property for this object to be equal to the tokens that we pass in when we create a new paid user. So we need to say this dot tokens equals tokens. Okay. So let's create a new instance of our paid user. So let's say const, um, I don't know. Let's call this person Bob equals new paid user. The paid user is going to take in the name, email, age, and the number of tokens. So let's say Bob. Um, email bob at gmail.com um, his age let's say he's 25 and he needs a number of tokens let's say Bob has a thousand tokens okay we've just created a new paid user so what that means is we've created a paid user which has all of the properties and methods that a regular user has because we've extended the paid user from the regular user. So that means we can call methods that the user has, like say name, even though we haven't explicitly defined that here in our paid user. So let's try that. So let's say Bob dot say name. And look at that. Hi, my name is Bob. Hi, my name is DevSage. And that's how class inheritance works. You can have a class that represents something in your program, and you can have another class that extends that class, which means it inherits all of the properties and methods of the class it's extending. And that is a little bit about classes in TypeScript. There were some things I didn't necessarily get to, but this, is, this should be a good foundation of the concepts of classes. So yeah, if you like this video, leave a like. Got any comments, leave them down in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm about to hit 2,000 subscribers, so that's pretty exciting. But uh, yeah. Other than that, peace.